A long time ago, when I was still a child, I used to live in this house. It wasn't creepy or disturbing in any way like you'd envision from a horror story. But this house terrified me. My bedroom would face out into the front yard, and in the front yard was this very tall tree. The tree didn't have any weird faces on it or anything like that, or stuff that would frighten people normally. But every night, I would see this man. He was not tall, but not short. He was dressed in all black, and seemed like he was on his way home from an evening of work. But what frightened me most about this man was his face. He had no face. He had a mouth, for sure. But eyes, nose, ears, none of it. And this disturbed me. Not as much, though, as what he would do every night, though. Every night he'd stand underneath the tree. His head would face in my direction, and he would wave. Now, this isn't j normally a frightening thing, you know, a wave is a greeting. But, I didn't know him. As a child, I was afraid of strangers, so... Especially considering his face. Either way, every night, I would wave back. Simply because it was rude not to. But, every night, I'd get more and more afraid of him. And this went on for years. One night, I was too terrified to even look out the window. I just covered myself in my blanket and tried to sleep. Eventually, I dozed off. But I was awakened by a noise. It was a light knocking on my window. At first, I dismissed it as uh, wood cracking in the wind or something like that. But it came again, louder. It was always three knocks, and it was on the window right next to my bed. After what may have, may have been six, nine knocks, I slowly took the blanket from over my head, and rolled and looked out the window. And there, I saw the man. His face was pressed against the window, and his head was facing down towards me. Even though he had no eyes, I could feel him. I could tell he was staring at me. And his mouth it was twisted into a very toothy grin. I could see his teeth, all razor sharp and pointed. I was terrified. But when he noticed I was looking at him, he stopped knocking. And he waved. I very lightly rose my hand from underneath my blanket and waved back. And he disappeared. I was terrified of this, so the next morning I took my blanket, or my sheet, <laughs> and covered the window with it, because I had no blinds, so I couldn't block the sight from the tree. Every night I'd still hear that knocking, though. Three knocks on the window. I ignored it and forced myself to go to sleep every night. Now, I no longer live in that house. And I haven't lived in that house for years. But sometimes, at night, I hear three knocks coming from my window. <laughs>